In this video, let's talk about mobile responsiveness because it is very important to make your website look good on a computer, but it is also essential to make it look good on a mobile device. Hello, I'm David from Thrive Themes and mobile responsiveness is very important because most of the times an element would look a certain way on a computer and then look completely different on a mobile device. And one of these examples is the columns element in Thrive Architect. And moving forward in this video, we'll take a look at a few examples and see how the columns behave on a computer and then on a mobile device. And the first example that we're gonna take a look at is this pricing table. And as you can see on a computer, the pricing table is placed in this way, right? Its columns are placed right next to each other. And this is basically because of the space, right? On a computer, you have lots of space and the columns can be properly placed right next to each other. However, on a mobile device, if we click on the mobile indicator right here, things change a little bit and these columns will be placed on top of each other, again, because of the lack of space on a mobile device. However, in the case of the pricing table, this is sort of an expected behavior, right? And you wouldn't expect the pricing table to have its columns placed right next to each other on a mobile device, right? This is the expected outcome. However, one small tweak that you should do before you know publishing your pricing table is making sure that on all devices it has a little bit of padding and to do this we'll click on the pricing table and here in the layout and position area we'll add some paddings right to the sides of the pricing table so we'll add a 15 padding and now if we take a look at the other devices right for example on a mobile device as you can see the pricing table will have some space on the sides and it would not be, you know, glued to the sides of the screen. And this basically applies in the case of the tablet as well. If we click on the tablet indicator, as you can see the pricing table is placed a little bit differently. We have two columns here and one here. Now we can change this if we don't want it to be displayed like this. And the way to do that is we can click on the pricing table and in the layout and position area, if we decrease the max width to something like this, it will have the similar layout as the mobile device, right? With each column placed right on top of each other. Now, this is the first example that I wanted to show you. And as you could have seen, the columns are displayed differently on a tablet and on a mobile, but they have the desired result, right? They are displayed properly on top of each other, and that's just fine. Now, let's have a look at the second example. For this example, we've added some content below the pricing table, and the content is found right here, right? You have a simple heading, and below it, you have a phone icon, and next to it, you have a phone number, right? Simple. And these two elements here, the phone icon and the phone number, are displayed as columns. Now, on a desktop, they look just fine, right? But on a mobile, again, things change a little bit. And let's have a look how these two look on a mobile. So we have the pricing table, all good, everything's fine, and then we get here and everything's messed up, right? And the problem is here that Thrive Architect automatically applies an option while a content is applied on mobile. This option basically makes the columns to be placed right on top of each other on a mobile device as opposed to right next to each other, right? And it is applied in this case as well, but we don't want this because it doesn't make any sense right now. So in order to fix this, we'll click on the columns element on a mobile and we'll go to column options. And here we have this option that I'm talking about, which is called wrap columns. So we'll deselect this and now everything is back to normal. And furthermore, we can adjust the positioning of the layout a little bit more to be more on the center 
and now everything is fixed. And as you can see, it looks good on a mobile device as well. So this second example basically doesn't have the desired outcome that you would expect. So make sure that in cases like this, always check the wrap columns option on a mobile device and on a tablet if it is the case. Now, in our case, the tablet is just fine. We just have to adjust it a little bit more to be aligned to the center. So something like that. So as you can see, wrap columns, you know, make sure to uncheck that on a mobile in order to avoid situations like this. And for the third columns example, we're looking at this other page that we created and we're not looking at these two big columns here. Instead, we're looking at these other two columns here. This is basically just context for this piece of content here. And as you can see, we have a heading and next to it as a column, we have this icon, which is pointing to this TV. Now, I did this because if the user would click on this image, then a video would pop up, right? Now on a desktop, this makes sense because the icon points correctly to the TV. And now let's take a look on a tablet. It looks all right, right? We would have to adjust the positioning a bit, but it looks decent. However, on a mobile device, if we have a look, this is the content, as you can see, again, doesn't make any sense. So what do we do? Well, we click on the columns and now instead of working with the wrap columns option, we will use this other option, which is reverse columns order. So we'll click on this option here. And as you can see, now it makes much more sense. So we have to adjust the icon further now. So in our case, the icon should be placed somewhere around here, not really in the middle, because we want it to point towards the display of the TV, right? So we'll work with the layout and position options. So we'll add something like 70, no, 80, something like that. And now in order to make it look better, we will, you know, decrease this margin or increase it negatively in our case, and also make the heading, you know, appear closer to the icon. So make it something like this. And also the heading would have to be positioned a little bit differently. So something like this. And now as you can see, it makes much more sense. And you know, the icon points towards the TV properly. And you know, it looks good on all devices. And basically, remember these two options that you can use when your mobile content doesn't look as good as you would expect the wrap columns option and the reverse columns order option. And basically, this concludes our tutorial. Now, if you have any questions regarding mobile responsiveness, you can leave them below. And if you have any complex questions, we could do a separate video about those topics, right, in order to explain them properly. I really hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one.